I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a detailed look at the Tobo Designs Light Pack, which I've been testing for the last three weeks. Let's dive in. So starting off with the materials on this pack here, it is a 400D nylon pack cloth. So I can bring it up a little bit closer so you can get a detailed look at it. It does just have a sort of like shiny look and shiny feel, or I guess you can't feel shiny, but it does have a sort of like softer feel to it. In general, it's on the thinner side, though there is a little bit of padding. You can see like where this orange material is. Um, that is where a little bit of padding starts. So it goes from here all the way around the base and then over to the other side. And then that is like the thickest part of the pack itself. It does have a little bit more structure down there. Um, the bag, you know, stands up really well on its own. I would say that this is more so a pack that you would use for like a laptop backpack or a school backpack or something like that. It has both that look and feel of a school backpack. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't really dial in a lot on the individual features, which I'll kind of get into. So looking at the um, external features, we've just got a Topo Designs logo right here, pretty big. In general, this colorway is really loud, but if you do want something a little bit more subtle, they have some options that are more solid, though the zipper pulls are pretty, pretty much the same. So this is a paracord, and then all of the zips on this are YKK, and the hardware is Wujin hardware. So uh, kind of looking at this back panel here, there's a decent amount of padding, but you can see there's no like, uh, there's no like aeration to it. Um, there's no mesh or anything like that for breathability, though there is a little bit on the shoulder straps. So the shoulder straps I found to be super, super comfortable. Um, they are really thin. I mean, you can kind of see like just in general, they're not really thick. Um, and then uh, the padding itself really doesn't add a ton of, I guess, like support or cushion, but what it does do is give you a little bit of breathability. So I can kind of put this on for you right now. Um, you'll see it just sort of fits like a regular backpack and it fits really snug to the body and it's really comfortable. So even with these straps being on the thinner side, they are really comfortable on my shoulders. I do have more narrow shoulders. So kind of the, you know, if you have more broad shoulders, then that, that comfort level is still there. Um, I think what it does really well is that carry comfort, um, but I'll kind of show you what it starts to look like on the inside here. So um, in terms of blemishes, there's like one down at the bottom here. It's just like a little bit of, it looks almost like a pen mark. Um, I haven't been able to get it off. It's not super visible, so not really a huge deal breaker for me, but obviously with this lighter colorway, it's definitely more visible. So um, I'm gonna kind of go into this main compartment here. Overall, this is an 18.5 liter capacity bag. So you do have a decent amount of space to work with. But um, one thing I will say about this front compartment, I like that it's like a chunky, fun zipper. Um, very easy to open and shut, and it has that fun diagonal look. What that does do, though, is make access a little bit weird. So um, when you're in this main compartment, you you know anything you put on this side is going to be just like a little bit harder to get to something on the bottom than on this side. That's just by nature of the angle that it's at. But I can kind of show you... It's, it's pretty tight, which is, you know, one of the qualms that I have with it, just because you can see that this, these two pockets are like liner pockets with this liner material, and they go in the same angle as this zipper. So this one here has a lower opening here, slightly higher opening, and then even higher opening on the second half there. You can see where it's like the seam kind of breaks the two pockets and separates them. But what I found is that anything that I put in this slightly higher pocket was really hard to get to. So, um, you know, I have to stick my hand, stuff can go down as far as this base here. And I had to stick my hand, you know, all the way down in order to get to something down there. Um, just to kind of give you an example, I have some snacks. And then I have my phone in the other pocket and then my wallet as well. And I just found it a little bit clunky to get to things. Um, you could just put it in this main area outside of the pocket, 
but you know that's just kind of where my keys are hanging there is this key clip as well it's pretty short so not super usable when you do have the backpack on if you want to like flip it to your front but it does keep the keys closer at reach which i prefer if it were a longer key leash it'd be nice because you could use it when you you know are at a door but your keys would fall all the way down here and like i was saying it's pretty hard to you know get your hand all the way in there especially when this main compartment is packed out super tight so just kind of a, a small issue that I had with the front compartment. I found myself not using it a ton just because it was a little bit clunky to get into. Um, but if you do want to put taller things in here, you have all of this top space as well to kind of accommodate anything that's going to go a little bit higher. Um, like if you wanted to put, if your notebook was like a little bit taller. So on the inside, um, well, I'm, so quick note about these. These are like easy, you know, grabbable pull tabs. And then on the outside of the pack, we have just like a regular nylon kind of grab handle. And then all of these attachment loops, which are the pack fast attachment loops. And that's for attaching this uh, to other, P or, or sorry, other Topo Designs um, bags. So they do kind of incorporate that system. So going into this main compartment here, we have just sort of like a, empty dump pocket. So I have like a, a zip up sweatshirt there, two little packing cubes, a tech pouch, and then the rest is just my tech stuff. So I have a laptop or sorry, a keyboard and then a laptop in this back sleeve. So this back sleeve can accommodate up to a 15 inch laptop. Mine is 13. But um, one thing that I do kind of want to note is that with this sleeve, it's really lacking any additional padding. So you do have the padding from the sides, like I had mentioned earlier, and there's a little bit of padding on that back panel. But in general, this sleeve here is largely just kind of like a flappy, just a little bit of like a flappy sleeve. So it feels secure when you have something like a sleeve in there to add a little bit of extra padding. But I'll kind of take this out to show you what it looks like without. And so this is a 13 inch and it just sort of like flops around in there. So there's also, you know, it doesn't really have a, a false bottom here. There's like a, a little bit technically, but even then, you know, it feels very much so like it's butting up against the bottom of your pack. You can kind of see like the way that it ends up folding with that material is like the bottom of my laptop is here. It's on the base of the pack. And then there's like what technically is kind of a false bottom, like just folded a little bit. So it's not, I don't really feel like it adds a ton of security. So considering this is something that you'd be using for like school, that's something to take into consideration. Um, I would definitely get some sort of extra protection just for myself. But you know, if you if that's not really a bother for you, then you know that's totally fine. But you don't have really any. I mean, this is really just like that slip material and then a little bit of elastic here, which is you know fairly large considering that this is what's going to be holding a laptop. It can really just move around in there. So. Uh, the rest of the uh, backpack is fairly simple. You know, it's just sort of like an empty pocket. There's no, you know, additional liner pockets on the inside. So any additional organization that you want to have, that's going to go into this front compartment or you're going to want to take advantage of like additional packing cubes and pouches and that sort of thing. So um, overall, you know, there's a fair amount of capacity. The more you pack out this main compartment, the, the tighter it's going to be to get things into the front. But in general, it works pretty well as a laptop bag. It does have a ton of flair to it. Um, just a little bit of a qualm here with this back actual laptop sleeve, considering that's a lot of the function. So there you have it, the Topo Designs Light Pack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.